The evidence McKinney police have in the death of a missing woman whose remains were found Sunday could lead to murder charges against her one-time boyfriend. Chad Stevens is currently charged with tampering with evidence after 35-year-old Heather Schwab's remains were found in a refrigerator in a home where the two lived. But his interview with police spelled out in court documents reveals his story does not add up. Fox Sports' Amelia Jones has more on the death investigation tonight. Amelia. Steve, I spoke with Heather Schwab's family today. They shared with me that she was a daughter, sister, and a mother of two young children. Schwab's mother told police her concerns about Schwab's relationship with Chad Stevens. Police say it was Stevens' daughter who gave them the tip that led to Sunday's grim discovery. A vase of white flowers remains outside a boarded up home on Pearson Avenue in McKinney to honor the life of 35-year-old Heather Schwab. Police found her remains in the home Sunday. In an arrest warrant affidavit obtained by Fox 4, police say they believe she died over a year ago, but Schwab's mom had first reported her missing to McKinney police in June. Her mom told police she believed Schwab was in an abusive relationship and feared Chad Stevens would kill her daughter. At that time, Stevens told investigators Schwab left him and he didn't know where she was. The search went cold until early November when Schwab's mom called police with a tip that Stevens' ex-wife contacted her claiming Stevens killed her daughter and buried her body in the backyard. When police interviewed Stevens' ex-wife and daughter, they shared information from a phone call with him. The affidavit states that the conversation turned into an argument and when his daughter mentioned Schwab was missing, Stevens responded, quote, oh, so you think I killed her. Stevens' ex-wife and daughter also told investigators he made comments about researching the penalty for hiding a body. This was enough for police to get a search warrant for Stevens' home. Once police went inside, they found Schwab's body in a refrigerator that was wrapped in plastic in the kitchen. The affidavit says the only entry from inside the house into the kitchen was, quote, suspiciously closed and concealed with, quote, a piece of sheetrock. Stevens was arrested and charged with tampering with evidence. When investigators asked him about Schwab's death, he claimed she died in July 2022, three days after slipping in the shower and hitting her head. But police records show there was a domestic disturbance call at the house on August 17, 2022, and Schwab was alive. While police were investigating Schwab's disappearance, police interviewed a different ex-girlfriend of Stevens. She told police Stevens assaulted her when she tried to leave him in January. The arrest affidavit says she moved in with Stevens at his house on Pearson Avenue in September 2022. She didn't mention anything about Schwab to investigators. Stevens is also charged with assault of a family member causing injury. In a statement to Fox 4, Schwab's family says that they are, quote, beyond grief stricken and broken hearted. The statement goes on to say, quote, we would appreciate privacy for her family and children as we process through this devastating time. The medical examiner's office has not determined how Schwab died. Stevens could face more charges depending on the autopsy results. Right now, his bond is set at $150,000. Steve, back to you. All right, Amelia, thank you.